All right, so come January, uh, by the end of J January, Flash is not going to work. Uh, let's insert a picture of what that's going to look like. Uh, but most browsers are also going to take away the ability for Flash to work. But there's a quick, there's two quick solutions, uh, two quick workarounds for that. The first one is the portable solution. Uh, you need a USB stick, uh, really any external drive, but you know it's not very big, so, so you can fit it on a little stick. You need to download two things. So let's go through that. Um, again, before we, be, we begin, you know, we have permission to install programs. Uh, uh, Pale Moon, the browser we're going to be using, is not out of date. Uh, it's a fork of Firefox, and they continue to update it, so that's good. Uh, the Flash uh, versions we're going to be using are old, and they have inherent security risks. You, you should download something like Avast if you don't have it, uh, or some kind of other antivirus program, uh, and that sort of thing. It's free. Yeah, there's no, they, they might want to you know, upsell you, but it's free. The free version is good enough. Uh, this also only works for Windows 7, 8.1, and 10, so uh, Mac, Linux, whatever. That's, uh, I don't know what to do for that. So anyways, let's get to it. The portable solution is you need to download the Pale Moon browser, and that is the 64-bit version. There's 32-bit versions for other stuff, but for the portable version with a USB stick, you need the 64-bit versions right over here. Uh, on the Windows page, you scroll down 64-bit. So let's download that now. All right, so now that that's finished downloading, what we can do is, is just open it, click it. Now, it's not a standard installation. It basically dumps out a bunch of files. We don't want to dump it out to the main drive. We want to find the USB stick. Okay, and that is going to be E for me. Uh, it's a little flash drive. You also want to put in Pale Moon so it dumps it into that one folder instead of everywhere. All right, and then you just extract. All right, so now that the extraction is done, we can see the USB drive and see that Pale Moon is working right there. All right. What we need to do is go back to the FAQ page and download the uh, file. We need to save it. You can even save it onto the USB stick already. It's easier that way. You save it there. All right. There we go, 25 megabytes. It's already done and it should be here. Fantastic. Now you want to move this, uh, so let's cut it. And we want to move it into the extracted Pale Moon folder. It's going to be in Pale Moon, uh, Lib, Mozilla, Plugins, and we're going to paste it here. All right. And the 64 is that it's for 64-bit, 32 is the version of Flash, and 371 is the subversion or whatever you want to call it. Uh, very subversive indeed. So uh, that is basically it. Now, there might be a conflict, so you want to make sure. So it's not quite it. You want to go and find app and features. You can search for it with uh, remove programs and stuff like that. Uh, this is Windows 10, similar thing in Windows 8 and 7, but this is Windows 10 for sure. So you can search for, let's say, Flash. There's nothing here. There might be Adobe Flash Player 32 and PPappy, and there's going to be NPappy. NPappy, if it's higher than the 371, it's going to conflict with the plugin here because uh, the higher version will play. If it's PPappy, you can remove it. If it's NPappy, you should remove it if it's higher. You should remove all of it anyways um, if, if you're not using the desktop laptop version. But definitely, if you have higher than 32.0.0.371 for Flash Player and Pappy, N as in, uh, I don't know, no, then you're going to have some conflicts. So you need to uninstall that. It's not here, but just, just to let you know, right? Now, once we uh, do that, you go back to the USB stick, you go to Pale Moon, the folder, and Pale Moon Portable uh, is the uh, .exe if, if you have extensions. If not, it's the application. It's the one with the moon in it. And guess what? It should work. Uh. All right, so we are here, and let's type in our favorite Flash gaming site, Ancon Arcade. All right, here you go. 
And let's play, what's well, not gonna be too noisy? Uh, let's do uh, Mini Putt, that's an old game, it's not too noisy. And it works, look at that. Now, just one more little thing. Uh, if you pr press, press right click, you're gonna see about Adobe Flash Player 32.0.37 64-bit, that's good, All right? And that's basically it, it works. So this is how you can get Flash to work. Uh, this is probably the easier of the two versions. The other one you can permanently install. Um, uh, we'll get to that. But this is the easiest version. You can take this in a stick, and it's going to work on any other Windows computer, uh, as long as it does. As long as the uh, Adobe Flash Player and Pappy uh, 371 or hot, well, or higher than that, and higher than that. Well. Anything higher than that is going to conflict with it, so you have to uninstall any Flash versions and Pappy uh, 371 uh, higher than that is going to conflict with it. And, and right, the point is anything higher than 371 but not 371 has a timer built in that's going to look like insert picture here past uh, January 12th or whatever it is, even if the browser works. Right, so that's the problem with it. Anyways, so that that's it. Very simple and. That's really it.